Hello everybody, Mr. Chews here with Bear Algebra. Let's talk about multiplying binomials with what I call method for my bow tie method. That's my own name I gave them because I think it's a good name for it. Give it a thumbs up, like my videos if they're helpful for you, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see more of my math videos. So I had two problems that I challenge you to work. So hopefully you did them right. So in challenge problem one, we have 5g minus 2h times 5g plus 2h. This happens to be a special product that you use in unit eight as a shortcut when you're reversing this. But let's go ahead and use the bow tie method. When you're using the bow tie method, it's very important that you leave a little bit of space in between the two problems. So I'm going to rewrite this so I can do bow tie on it with a little bit of space in between them. I don't put my line across here like I did in my uh, vertical stacking method that I showed you, which was method two. So now we're going to multiply the first term times the first term, and I multiply that, 5g times 5g, I write it down. Now I'm going to multiply the first term in the first one times the second term in the second one. So I write that down, 5g times 2h. Now I'm going to multiply the first term of the second one times the second term of the first one. So it's 5g times negative 2h. And then the last part of the bow tie right here, negative 2h, which is the second one of the first term times 2h, the second term of the second term, second term of the second binomial. So now I'm just going to multiply across with each term and then combine like terms if there are any. 5g times 5g is 25g squared. 5g times 2g is 10gh. 5g times negative t Negative 2g is negative 10gh. Negative 2h times 2h is negative 4h squared. I have combined terms here. I'm going to put these two together. So I have 25g squared. And then... 10gh plus negative 10gh is zero, so it's gone, plus negative 4h squared, but I can write as minus h squared. So there's the answer to challenge one. Hopefully you did well. All right, and now I'll write down challenge two, and we will work through it, and hopefully you got them both right. Challenge two problem was a perfect square. So I have 4a minus 3b quantity squared. So let me erase the rest of this. And hopefully you did both of them right. And this is an easy method. A lot of people like this method. So I take and I write the two binomials that I'm multiplying with just a little bit of space in between. Why do I leave that little bit of space in between? So that I can draw my bow tie. So I start my bow tie, which first term times first term, 4a times 4a. I continue my bow tie. My first term of the first one times the second term of the second one. So 4a 
times negative 3b. There we go. 4a, the first of the second one, times the second of the first one. 4a times negative 3b. Now we finish off this bow tie. Negative 3b times negative 3b. All right. So now we're just going to multiply these two together, these two together, these two together, these two together, and then combine the like terms. 4a times 4a is 16a squared. 4a times negative 3b is negative 12ab. 4a times negative 3b is negative 12ab. And then negative 3b times negative 3b is 9b squared. So I have like terms here that I can combine. So I have as an answer 16a squared. And then I have plus negative 12b plus negative 12b is plus negative 24ab. It's ab. Negative 12ab plus negative 12ab is negative 24ab. And I can write that as minus 24ab. Then I have plus 9b squared. So there's the answer to challenge two. Hopefully you did well on it. If these videos are helpful, give them a thumbs up and like this video. You can also subscribe. Remember, I'm Mr. Chu. What are we doing now? Bare algebra. What is that? That's the curriculum that I call my algebra um, videos that I create weekly for you. So let me help you by watching my videos. There will be a link at the end of the video for you to go back to the original lesson if you need to see a couple more examples. There will also be a link to the playlist of all the different um, multiplication of binomial methods, one, two, three, four, I have. And then I also will put another link on this video that links you back to my SAT preps. Hopefully, you will watch my videos to help you. I'm Mr. Chu, and I look forward to helping you understand algebra. See you next time.